Hi, welcome to Fun Math. Today we're going to be talking about basic number properties. Here we have four different types of properties. Today we're going to be talking about commutative property of multiplication. Let's take an example to understand the commutative property of multiplication. Okay, so let's find the factors of 10. So obviously you know that any number multiplied by 1 will give you that number you multiply by 1, which 1 can be multiplied by 10, because it still gives you that number you multiply by 1, which is 10. And can 2 work? Yes, because 10 divided by 2 is 5. 2 times 5. Okay, is 3, It can 10 be divided by 3? No. 10 divided by 4? No. 10 divided by 5? Yes, but it's already written down. So that means there's no more. Okay, the rest are already written down. Okay, so the four factors for 10 are 1, 2, 5, and 10. These are all the factors for 10. And to understand and how to write 10 and two other factors, we're going to use 2 and 5. So 10 can also be written as 2 times 5. And also 10 equals 2 times 5 can also be written as 10 equals 5 times 2. If you see that here and here, they're giving the same product as 10. But in for the factors, they're just switching their places. But they still have the same factors as 2 and 5, and here also 5 and 2. Okay, so now let's draw a picture for 10 equals 2 times 5 and 10 equals 5 times 2 to help us see if this is correct. Okay, so two rows, one, two, and five apples in each row. So one, two, three, four, five, and also here, one, two, three, four, five. Two is here and five is here. Just multiply two, two by five, which will give us 10 as our product. And let's draw the picture or array for this. So that means we draw five rows. One, two, three, four, five, and two, and two apples in those rows. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. So here we have five, here we have two in each row. So that means you will do 5 times 2, which gave us 10 as our answer as well over here. All right. So now this all here that we solved today is called the commutative property of multiplication. All right. So now to review what we learned today. We learned about basic number properties. We had four different types of properties, but today we learned about the commutative property of multiplication. And here, for this example, we had 10 as our product, and these are the factors of 10, which are 1, 2, 5, and 10. And here we used the numbers 2 and 5 and 10. So we had 10 equals 2 times 5, and it can also be written as 10 equals 5 times 2. And these are the arrays we solved today. And if you see here that the products are still the same, but the factors are also still the same, if you see. And they're just switching the places and still staying the same. And this is how you, how to understand the commutative property of multiplication. I hope you learned something from this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.